Where there's a will, there's a way. And if money's involved, there's always more than one way. But more importantly, if there is a will, I want to be in it. Are you looking to invest in property but are unsure how to do so wisely, smartly and securely? Look no further as I'm here to explain five smart ways for you to invest in property. Let's get to it, shall we? We've all been guilty of watching daytime TV makeover shows at some point in our lives and it's time to finally put all that knowledge to use. I'm glad Jeremy Card had such a positive impact on my life. Property developing translates into buying a property, renovating it, refurbishing it, and then selling it for a higher price, or renting it to generate a solid, steady income flow. If you want to succeed in property developing, you must become familiar with terms such as no money down, renovations, planning, permitted development, and many other particular terms used in the world of property. And I believe you need the following tools to be able to profit from a good property development. Capital, a lot of it. Experience, knowledge, observational skills. Moving on to the next method of investing in property, book a flight because we're going to a foreign destination. And yes, the good news is it's tax deductible. Perhaps investing in Bartlett in the UK is not turning out to be as beneficial as you thought it would do and that happens sometimes by the way in that case you can go for bricks and mortar abroad and you might be able to earn a higher rental yield in comparison and as a bonus it can be a holiday home whenever it's not being rented out as amazing as that sounds you must consider a lot of factors before investing overseas you will be faced with the horrors of unfamiliar and complex tax systems along with uncertainty due to the rise and fall of exchange rates and it's going to be a different language, a different way of working, different values, different ethos, different system and as if that isn't enough it will be challenging to handle maintenance remotely oh wait there's another one your rental income may fail to cover your mortgage payments now I don't mean to scare you off there I was simply letting you know what to consider before deciding to invest in property overseas and it can be quite overwhelming but the results may be worth it but then again a lot of people in the UK who have invested overseas who've lost money by the way has been because they invested overseas if that makes sense so tread with caution a REIT or a real estate investment trust is a rather new investment product that made its way to the UK market around about 2007 to keep it simple, it's a pooled property fund that is formed as a company which may be listed on the stock market. Take for example, the London Stock Exchange. Contributions are received by REITs uh, which are then utilized for exposure of property to generate a profit and produce a return for its investors and shareholders. Around 50 or so trusts are listed on the LSE, London Stock Exchange, which consists of a range of specialist property sectors. These include residential, commercial, and also healthcare properties and all together have a stock market value of a jaw-dropping eye-popping 50 billion pounds there are two ways to invest in REITs you can either buy the shares of companies that are listed or invest through exchange traded funds EFTs are constructed to trace REIT companies if investing in bricks and mortar fascinates you for good reason of course and you don't have enough cash lying around behind the sofa for a deposit then do not be disheartened you can go for the option of investing in funds that specialize in holding property to clarify property fund is a kind of investment that is directly financed into property or into the shares of a company that deals with properties in the UK we have two investment association fund sectors that are allocated to property one of them holds funds that invest abroad or in property company shares known as IA property other sector. The second sector, IA UK Direct Property, contains funds that invest in bricks and mortar. Property funds do not invest in the residential sector, they finance the commercial sector instead. So anything that is considered a leisure or retail development falls under this category, such as shopping centres, office spaces, industrial estates and parks. A factor that plays in the performance of uh, property funds is the economic state. If we are living in the good days, then there is a rise in demand for property, 
which increases their rents and property prices, resulting in more construction. When the bad times come, such as a recession, the opposite takes place, obviously. When a recession combines with high inflation, something we are all way too familiar with right now, it can have a m negative impact on property funds. The reason being that the economic state impacts both capital values and potential rental income, resulting in whatever chaos is to ensue. It can take months, it can take months or even years to sell a house or a flat. If the property in question is commercial, you'll be faced with this problem times 10, because the numbers are usually bigger. Commercial properties such as offices and factories can take countless years to sell if in the wrong place and, um, and for the wrong price. This turns property funds into an illiquid investment. So before you go investing in property funds, do ponder the current economic state and its effects on commercial properties. A question to ask yourself is this, is it better for you to put money directly into bricks and mortar or to invest in property stocks and shares? Here are a few points uh, in terms of investing in stocks and shares. You can avoid the hassle of finding tenants or even having to deal with problematic ones. Entry is easier as the barriers are lower. You can start right away with an investment trading platform. Your portfolio can be created with only a few hundred pounds. And to add further to this, anyone can invest in the, in the stock market whenever they choose, as long as they obviously have the cash. Simply take out a stock and share ISA uh, and up to 20,000 pounds a year, and it's tax free, so it keeps you away from the tax man. These are all the ways you can invest in property uh, in a different, but I believe, smart way. You can thank me later. For now, leave a comment below as to what you would like to know on the next video. Till then, take care.